Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Yakuza Like a Dragon on the Mysterious JG. Experiencing real challenges, finding points to cut off videos other than in the middle of cinematics. It's going to make it tough to call it a session at some point today. Anyway, uh, we're talking to um, an old lady who was drunk in the preview chapter, trying to get some information on what's going on with the Arakawa family. They seem to have betrayed the Tojo to join the Omi Alliance. I know Tojo and Umi Alliance were both in the previous Yakuza games. I have to acknowledge now I've completely lost track of which one were the bad guys in the old games and which one were the good guys. But I think Omi Alliance were what the... I don't know. Um, doesn't matter because there was never really any moral superiority by of the side you were working for. They were just on opposite sides of a turf war. And uh, now um, we're upset because the boss, who we just thought was like the... You know, Paragon, the uh, human um, Im Im embodiment of honor and stuff appears to have gone down a pretty dishonorable path after we were in jail. I'm sure we'll find out why, but it's it's increasingly obvious that these things the cop told us happened have happened. You know, Air Force DMV cop, whoever the hell he's going to turn out to be. Uh, and we're just not really wanting to face it. So let's uh, continue um, looking for truth with our QAnon badge and ignoring all the evidence in front of us. Maybe you could ease up on the water trivia and tell me a bit about Kamu Rocho. What happened with the Tojo clan and the Arakawa sign while I was gone? I'm about to fall asleep. I don't know the first thing about it. But your bar was pretty popular with Tojo Clan guys, wasn't it? Yeah. My bar is a health food cafe now. When I banned smoking and drinking, I lost that type of customer. Turns out the Yakuza are not that into um, understanding that there's 70% water. I don't know what the Yakuza are up to, and I couldn't care less about people who don't treat their bodies like temples. <laughs> Say this, I'm going to be microwaving leftover triple cheese pizza tonight, so I don't think she would hear about me. Uh... I literally pumped poison into my body, but it's on doctor's orders. If, if you're so curious, why not track down Ushio? Ushio? Isn't he the little icon that teaches Maltese children about hygiene? Remember, you're senpai from middle school. Hmm? Oh, yeah. That guy used to sell black market porn. Yeah, he's, he's the guy to go to. He's a magazine writer these days. He writes animal porn mags. And he fancies himself the go-to guy for coverage in the Yakuza. <laughs> Really? No, that's perfect. Well, I have my doubts that he's all that great a journalist. He'll say he's out researching a story, and then I'll see him slacking off by Children's Park, selling porto bids, or perhaps filming them. Thanks. Children's Park, huh? Thanks. That's where I'm going, then. Thanks, Michio. Swing by my cafe when you can, will you? I've got this new spring water called Aha Divine. They say it can even cure illnesses. Invite your friends, too. You'll feel better. I don't have friends, but yeah, I'll put it on the list. If you like it, I can sell you some at the home for a discount. We even have a referral program. If I register you as a friend, then... See ya. Yeah, anyway, gotta run. Glad you're staying fit. See you around. Hey, wait. Now she's just trying to sell us her uh, fancy pants bottled water. Michio sure has changed. I'm glad she's doing well, but it's kind of sad, too. Well, maybe I can find Ushio at Children's Park. May as well check it out. Yeah, it's sad that she's no longer drunk and uh, destroying herself. So, Earth Angel, Shellac, I think. It's Earth Angel, right? This would be the... Uh, th this is her place. Let's go check it out. I mean, the story made it clear it's like a joke and that our hero doesn't actually want to go there. But I'm curious if she's actually selling what she says she is. And if it's any good. This doesn't appear to be the same place, or at least not the same person. Oh, I was waiting for you, Hun. Yeah, Earth Angel Mama appears to be a man in drag. Well, this is not the right place, obviously, because they're selling actual alcohol, and she doesn't do that anymore. So, I, um... 
Apparently she's not where I thought she was. Well, there's Shellac. Can I get information on these places without going to them? No. That is the East Shikafuku Street Popo. Conrai, Bantam, Wild Jackson. Sushi Zuma. Will I recognize the name of the place when I find it, or is it just not actually a real restaurant? That's what I'm starting to suspect. You can't actually go there. Cafe Alps. That doesn't sound right. I think I'll recognize it if I see it. Ringer Hut. M Side Cafe. Wild Jackson. No, I I'm starting to suspect that it's not really a place you can actually visit. That's too bad. It's Batman Cafe. No, it's Bantam Cafe. Wild Jackson would appear to be that uh, chicken fingers burger place. Uh, yeah, I think we can't actually go to her restaurant. I wasn't trying to hit her. Anyway, um, I guess just in case something happens, I'll save, but it doesn't really seem like um, we're in any danger of game overing anytime soon. I don't know that we're going to go, like, trials of mana levels of depth into the game before we ever game over, but I didn't actually want to fight you guys, but let's punch a motorbike into your face. Oh, backup has arrived. Doesn't look like using the bike was necessary at all. Or the motorbike. Good just... Because they're weak against getting punched in the face, which is good for uh, Itchy. We didn't get any items from them, though. Yeah, I'm not actually over-leveled for once in one of these kids. What the heck was that? Oh, he's, uh... Curry of... Chaudian... Chaudian Uncle. Canadian Uncle? <laughs> what the heck? Chadian Uncle. Okay. Curry of Chadian Uncle. Well, there's cars moving really slowly on these streets. You can get hit by cars in this game. It is generally to be avoided. Club Wi-Fi. Club Noir. Club Clean Rose. Green Rose, not Glean Rose. What the hell? Joy Sound. Emerald Hills Club. There's just all sorts of sights to be seen in fake... I guess we're in fake Tokyo. Or are we heading for fake Yokozama? One time we gotta tell you, quit hanging around here. You made a promise, and I'll hand it over. Hmm. Chill out, would you? It's just a pic of you walking with some animal porn, and you look like a badass in it. It's not a matter if we look cool or not. The homie don't do the whole press thing. Huh? So back off, or you'll be the one doing the snapping. Well, uh, aren't there any exceptions? They're gonna run a million yen a shot if you really want them. That's just crazy. Oh. Is it now? Then say goodbye to your camera. What? Wait, I still owe money on that thing. You think I care? Okay, let's step up here and save the day. But, oh, I guess we caught it, otherwise it would have been busted. <laughs> Why isn't this voice actor? This is a plot mandatory scene. Oh. Uh, who? Hey. Why break a perfectly good camera? Uh -huh. Who the hell are you? Why isn't JG differentiating these voices better? I gotta talk to this guy. Don't worry, I'll make sure he the shots get deleted. That makes us square, right? Hmm? Aren't you Ichiban? Ichiban Kasuga? You got out? Wow. I figured they'd throw you away for life when I sold you out for porn distribution. <laughs> Been a while, Yushido. Boop. Hey, is it he the Tojo Clan guy? What? Red suit, scraggly hair. It's gotta be him. 
He's the one the Arakawa family told us to look for. <laughs> yeah, if we kill him and drag him back, we'll be fucking heroes. I'm shouting. <laughs> yeah, this picture's just got small time. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, man, we'll have the photo photographer as our party Some. member. No. Don't go anywhere. I gotta handle some scumbags real quick. The hell was that? Get him. So, another 800 two on one uh, fights. So, I'm thinking we want to take out the guy with two knives first. Hopefully, we won't be blocked. Oh, wow, that was effective. I did not get my perfect defense that I wanted. Skips around like a badass, making or jackass, making me angry. But we know his name is Meta. That did like no damage. That did more damage. So I guess that's Berserk. It prevents me from. Thank you. Pounding on the walls, neighbor. Prevents me from controlling actions, but I don't think it gives you the traditional berserk benefit of doing more damage. I feel the stats going up. <laughs> I've got stats going up and my hair changing. I don't know what the f My neighbor has been like Damn, nailing strong. stuff to that wall for like four days. Your face, dick. And your dick face! I can tell you love your job, but you ought to love being alive more. <laughs> Else who's gonna take care of that precious camera? Well, he got some action shots, though. A real fist fight between the Omi Alliance and a Tojo clan loyalist. Oh yeah. These picks are going for a fortune. Thanks, Ichiban. Hey, hold up! Yeah, what the hell? We gotta chase him down again in this minigame? Oh, he broke his camera. <laughs> What are you doing, man? Don't bother that guy. It was your fault anyway. Don't bother my friend, oh, get the... Out of here. Whoever he is. I got demon eyes. If I see you again, I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Tough words for a guy who just took off screaming. <laughs> yeah, you better run, Kamulop. Kamulop? Kakarot? It's a local mascot they made to improve Kamurocho's image. I like what to beat the them up. A local mascot? I guess that is a new thing uh, in Japan, like within the last decade day. or so. Remember the internet? It's big now. Use it. Oh. -hoo. Fine. Just tell me what happened to the Arakawa family and Arakawa-san. And you were in that smoking and drinking. Upon a time, right? And stop. Local mascots. I know what happened. Being the local reporter. I don't believe. Oh, is this meant the Rococo reporter? It wasn't who he was. You really want to know why Arakawa did what he did? You might want to ask Arakawa. I do have the scoop. I'm not a journalist for nothing. So tell they me. don't call me Carl. For when nothing. did you get locked up again? 18 years ago. And Seven Arakawa years later. had a son, right? Yeah, a young master. It used to be my job to escort him. I was the prettiest escort I of all. I don't know the details, but he was kind of sickly, right? Uh, I don't uh, like where this is going. What do you mean, was? Is he better now? Well, that's dead. a what? That was a really optimistic way to take that statement. He used to be sickly. Oh, you mean he's better now? <sighs> well, I like the young master. Unless this guy's lying, I guess we're not getting much more of that character. When? How? Hmm. Would have been about three years after you went into the slammer. As I recall, his condition got worse. There was nothing they could do. Oh. Arakawa was pretty fond of him, or so I assume. Oh, as a journalist, I make lots of assumptions. Fond of him. Arakawa's son would have died for his son. Or at least cut off Maybe a finger. Maybe the loss changed his perspective on things. Nothing worse than burying your own kid. Mm. Yeah. I can't imagine how that must have felt. But anyways, I still don't see how that would make him betray the Tojo clan. He turned to the dark side. He's a Sith now. Maybe you can't understand, but once you have a child, the rest of your life is over. The kid becomes your life's purpose. So no. you're a father, or what? So imagine the grief you'd feel if the kid dies. You just keep existing with your life's purpose pulled out from under you. The only thing to do is betray the Tojo to the Ami Alliance. Reason, any other reason to keep living. Seriously. For days, they just occasionally start hammering on their wall. Couple that with the fact that Arakawa is a Yakuza. 
I think maybe his new reason to live became watching the world burn. Oh, so he's the Joker. He wouldn't set the world on fire. That's not his way. Hey, why don't you give me some info now? You really in trouble with the Omi like those thugs said? He hasn't really helped us that much. I guess he told us that the yeah. young master's and dead, but... just be strolling around Camarocho. You still got business here? If not, I'd get out of town. I'd get a new face <sighs> if I were me, but... I promise, oh, yeah. Kasuga, there's nothing left... Hi! My still image is yelling at you now! Then where would I go? Yokohama, apparently. I mean, I don't know, dude. I'm just saying the Omi are looking for you. So I'd get out of town if I were you. Go away from the Yond building. Home? Yeah, the soap land you were born in? That'd be your home, right? You could become a hooker at the uh, soap land. Hey! You're not going there now, are you? Well, you just told him to. Don't do it! I'm telling you, they'll kill you! Kill me? <laughs> Let him try. Oh, I just want to see the world burn. That's going to be a thing now. All characters just want to see the world burn. Save. It's the wise thing to do. I guess I could go back and talk to him, except he's disappeared forever, so I guess I can't. Club Sega! Oh, so that's a decorative Club Sega. We can't actually go into this one. Wordless emotion power. Power, power, power. And other English as well. We do seem to get our life and hit points back after every battle. That's not... Can I just run away? I don't want to fight these guys. Uh, whatever. Ooh, now I have charismatic persuasion. Attempt to brainwash an enemy. If successful, the enemy will drop an item and flee. I don't think that's going to work often. This is Oda? The punk? Is his name Oda? I thought I saw the word Oda, yeah. They're just going to keep trying that. Typically, they're not going to get more than their starting numbers. Mad dogging us? We just beat your friend to a pulp. Okay, well, that's easy enough fight. We lost a little bit of MD. We got job experience. And again, none of this matters because I'll be loading. Uh, once we get to the first stage in the story where we've actually got two party members. Which we're not that far away from, I think. Um, but yeah, after all these plot battles, we keep getting all of our HP and MP back. And um, non-optional battle or optional battles are pretty few and far between at this point. You've really got to seek them out if you want them. So let's... Uh, just in case of a crash or something, like, oh, I'm gonna have to fight you guys, aren't I? No, 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 I look like I got away. But, in order to get away, I ran away from where I actually need to be going for the story, so let me go back. Doesn't seem to be a way to actually sneak up on them and take advantage of that in any way. Pizza Ha appears to be on a sign back there. My super over the top dusty road spinning aroundy punch. So he got what, an underling of some kind to appear? Maybe this guy will continue summoning warriors. So I got a perfect guard off. And the timing of perfect guard is about as close as this game comes to having the action elements of the other Yakuza games. Yeah, it's pizza... Oh, it's pizza la. Japan standard. Yeah, that looks like it's just, uh... cheese pizza with lots of tomato on it. Not appealing to me at all. I guess there's some green bell pepper in there, also not that appealing. I like, um... Cause, cause, because you asked. Lots of cheese, lots of pepperoni. I basically alternate between two. I, sometimes I just want lots of cheese and lots of pepperoni. Other times I want something closer to like the classic takeout supreme, but with like um, beef, so like you know, beef and um, ham on pizza, no good. Beef, um, 
onions and mushrooms and all that good stuff. But um, the main, like, alternate on what normally goes on a Supreme, I like a jalapenos instead of bell peppers. It just gives it a little bit more kick. Because you asked. You know, I'm sure you're fascinated to hear about my pizza preferences in this Let's Play. Let's move forward with the story. Slowly enough that we won't walk into a door. Oh, no, we're going to find out that our old soap land is no longer intact? That'll be very sad for us, I suppose. Trashed. Never thought I'd outlive Shangri-La. I thought people would continue whoring here forever. So, is this the last stop on your tour of... Can we go meet our dad? Like, our, we had an actual uh, guy who raised us before we joined the Yakuza. I knew you'd end up here eventually. At least he's not here to kill us, as the you people again? we expected to be waiting for, for us here real? are. Unbelievable, isn't it? A neon bright paradise like Kamurocho, and here's this dark, rotting husk. All because the police cleaned up the Tojo clan, which was apparently making this place heaven on earth. What happened here? Do you know? There was a Tojo clan civil war. Some morons. Some woman faded out of existence on the left side of the screen there. That's ever since. But now, it's a den for lowlifes and thugs. Mm. Real messed up dudes living there now. I see. I guess I never realized just how long 18 years... That's an odd thing to say, considering you spent 18 years in prison. You remember. I know that must be shitty. Did you see what they built on Nakamichi Street? What? The new Kamuro police station. Just oh. one more set of prying eyes watching everything in this town. He really doesn't That's seem to be fond of police for a policeman. Without the Tojo clan throwing their bribes and threats around... Station finally got built. Thus, Watch. with Law and Order, it's now a hellhole with no fun soap lands. That's why everyone loves our go-getter go go-getter of a governor. It's like Red Dead Comer Redemption. The, station is just one the governor is things. on an anti-crime kick, and that makes him a bad guy somehow. Well, that shit doesn't matter to me anymore. Kasuga, I've been nothing but honest with you. I tried to tell you before. Can I just, I, I know I'm pausing a lot. I'd like to just quickly state that I'm grateful that this game is set in Japan because it's got a lot of stuff in it about the police. And that is a super touchy subject right now where I live. Um, the idea of racially insensitive police in Japan isn't really a thing since Japan is pretty uniform. I mean, Japan has immigrants, but they've got, they have a totally different approach. Like they they don't, mess around with the idea of a multicultural society. Like, immigrants who are allowed to work and live in Japan are very much considered outside of the mainstream. So, like, I'm not saying that's good. I'm just saying, like, I don't know what I'm saying. I probably shouldn't be talking about controversial stuff other than, like, yeah, I have to worry about, um, <laughs> like, this game's going to have cops who are just cops. Like, the political stuff going on here is not a thing over there, which makes it a little bit easier to talk about. Or Tojo clan you know is gone. The Omi alliance from Kansai invaded and won. They rule this city now. They're uh, secret Koreans, so, by the way. Do you believe me now? The previous Yakuza game had a lot of secret Koreans. <laughs> we're making good time. Well, you came around faster than I thought. <sighs> I knew you were the kind of guy who has to see shit for himself. And everyone else be damned. Uh -huh. So, I had to let you walk around Kamurocho until it all clicked for you. <laughs> and you got there quick. Actually, it took a lot for him to figure this out. Trying to guess everything I do? Making fun of me along the way? Well, I didn't guess everything. Kind of a DMV Air Force cop, are you? Here. <sighs> Look, man. Once and for all, what the hell do you really want? I want you to help me with my investigation. Huh? He's trying to find out who really killed Arakawa, that guy, I guess. The former boss used the police to crush the Tojo clan. Then he gave Kamurocho to the Omi Alliance on a silver platter. Uh -huh. You and I both know you can't buy out the police with just Yakuza pocket change. He must have busted a lot of animal so fuck video rings. Some of that money went directly to Juro Horonouchi, the police commissioner. The mm. police commissioner? Yeah. Then I got a bone to pick with that guy. I'd love to see the son of a bitch fired. Well, I'm... of course, I'm just a driver's ed teacher now, so I don't have a lot of chances to get at it. I suppose I could run him over. But one chance I do have is if I go through Masumi Arakawa. And you figure I can help you get to Arakawa-san. 
Is that it? Congrats. You solved the puzzle. I thought you'd be game because, come on, aren't you dying to know why he turned traitor? I'm curious. But if you don't agree, why don't you tell me? What are you going to do now? Hmm? Hmm? I want to see Arakawa son. It's all I thought about in prison. I just want to see him, talk to him. Well, for your information, tonight Arakawa is bringing some Omi officers to a big meeting. Oh, I think we're getting Both close to where I actually really? uh, true? stopped playing ahead. Oh, yeah. And we're not talking about a sweet little tea party. No, it's going to be a show of Although there will be tea served. For Arakawa, it's a critical moment. He needs to show his dominance. How do you know all this? I still have my connections from when I was a detective. Had to grease some hands, of course. Go figure. Well, where's this meeting gonna be? Oh, actually, it's gonna be at a fancy new soap land. you asked. Hmm. And the story continues. Hopefully it won't lure me into any other weird comments on Japanese immigrant society. <laughs> Got a little off topic there. So I guess we're meant to be avoiding Check out that restaurant the cops there. or the hey on Omi Alliance guys. Oh, that's... Right, totally uh, on this. Oh, have you been there? It's a pretty classy joint. Expensive as hell, though. Hell costs you a know, lot of money. I haven't gone. It's just... Uh, Harkawa-san once promised to take me there. Oh, money exchanges here. That's good. Wait, I get it. This is Harkawa-san trying to contact me. Oh, no, huh? come on. Wait, what are you saying? Jewish it space lasers again, kid. That the meeting is going down there. At a place that meant something to me and him. Of course it could be a coincidence. Come back down to Earth. He kid. really is a bit there of a goof. There are many classy restaurants around here, period. Stands the reason he picked one of the only ones. Hmm? Screw you. It doesn't even matter. What's important is I can finally talk to him. Okay. First of all, the meeting isn't until tonight. So we're going to need to jump forward that, in time. You me know you're a Tojo loyalist. If they catch you, then you'll have zero chance of talking to Arakawa. Now, luckily, I have a plan for sneaking in. Unless you wanted to bust through the front door like an idiot. Oh, cool. Can we save okay. and try both approaches? Kind of plan. That's a surprise I'll save for later. What? Later? What, we're just gonna wait here till they show up? No, I'm sure you have shit to do, just like me. Let's split up and meet back here tonight. You can go buy that plunger. Here, take this with you. What is this? A smartphone. I assume you've seen one before? No. Only in dreams and How visions. Why do they make phones so damn complicated? I'm with him! Anyway, we have a smartphone now. Figure it out. Just make sure to pick up when I call you. Whatever. Dude. New to pause menu smartphone. You can now select smartphone from the pause menu. This will allow you to check your mail, take pictures, and call a taxi. More smartphone functions will be added as you progress through the story. Oh, this is crazy. Okay. I might actually get to so save remember, and call it a session here. In this part of Theater Square tonight. Till then, keep a low profile, will you? Don't tell me what to do. A bloody reunion. Different faces, facets of Kasuga's personality will improve. I wonder if this happens for all the characters or just Kasuga. Because that would get really involved after a while for trying to, like, earn style and kindness points for, like... Because I believe there's four main playable characters, but there's a bunch of, like, optional characters. It could get nutty. It's finally night. Better go meet Adachi once I'm ready. And, well, I don't know when I'm going to want to dip my toe into the weird world of, yeah, there's all sorts of stuff. The batting center, the uh, Club Sega. I don't know that there's any point in doing any of this before, because the story's going to take us away from Kamarocho fairly soon. Um, I know that just from Lethal's uh, watching some of his streams. So I think it might be might be like a good idea to start doing those mini games after we're a little farther along because we'll have more opportunities to earn money and stuff and probably ignore these for now. But another thing we can do right now, we got a location list. See Earth Angel sounded like it might be the place where you get 
Um, the uh, Lullaby Mahjong. It might be the place where you go to get uh, spring water from that lady who actually seems to like you and care about you, and therefore we ignored her. But, um... Oh, we got 29 emails. Well, it's just going to turn into Death Stranding now. Let's call it a... I haven't decided if I'm going to call it a session or not. I definitely got to take a break and get something to eat. But this is the first time in a while that I've actually had an opportunity to just save and call it and not be right in the middle of a cinematic, so maybe I should take that as some kind of sign from above. When we come back next time, guys, um... Well, I guess we'll either be going through our smartphone or we'll be going uh, on a plot quest to try to actually meet Arakawa. Try to figure out what he did, why he betrayed the Tojo, and uh, whether he still actually likes us and wants us to be his, like, uh, backup son. I'm the Serious GG. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time. Bye-bye.